check good, good evening nga pala um, ito nga si Morley um, yung ipapakita ko ngayon yung basic tutorial is masyadong <coughs> hmm. alikabok dito ah ang yung basic tutorial natin is about view and laravel so ang ginawa natin is kumawa tayo ng separate folder yung B is back end ito yung laravel natin tapos yung FE is for front end ito naman yung view to yung front end natin so for this maglaran muna tayo pati yung back end natin um, nga pala tumatanggap ako ng home base ngayon with with 2 years solid experience as laravel developer natanggap na sana ako nung una kaso nag decline ako kasi natanggap ko rin yung office base kaso sayang yung home base na tinanggap ko nung una kasi pinagpalit ko lang sa office base kasi gusto kong ma matry yung office base kaso naka problema dun sa, ano, sa salary kasi ang liit ang liit talaga ng salary kulang yung pang boarding tapos mga basic expenses natin for everyday life so ayun nahihiya na rin akong bumalik dun sa nag hire from home base kasi pinagpalit ko siya sa office base pero okay naman hindi pa naman ako nakapagsimula at wala pa rin namang contract kaya ito so okay ito so here up na yung front end natin at pati, pati rin yung pati rin yung back end natin so may konting error tayo saan ba to script axios component book view ok so dito it, itong sa visual studio natin is ito yung front end tapos ito yung ito naman sa sublime ito yung back end so sa sublime meron na akong ginawang controller at naka research na yung route natin ayun tapos sa view naman ito so <coughs> kung i-check po natin sa ANB meron na po tayong database na lara view at root tapos gumawa na rin ako ng factory for book kanina para makapag-run na lang tayo ng factory database factory so currently meron tayong 10 books as I run the factory kanina so ang mangyayari is kunin natin yung data from the back end tapos i-display natin sa front end natin so in our in our book view so kung titingnan natin ito, dito tayo sa source tapos sa main view, ito yung main view natin dito yung ginagawa yung mga configuration natin, kung titingnan nyo meron tayong bootstrap view at meron din tayong bootstrap CSS kasi nag import tayo ng una is bootstrap, pangalawa is viewx pangatlo is view router pangapat is axios axios yung ginagamit natin for our HTTP request so sa sa main sa app view naman natin is um, in import natin si book which is from components ito tapos we declare that our component as book tapos we display it inside the app kasi si app kasi yung unang mag display based sa main configuration natin so okay so sa book natin gagawa tayo ng function na git get books tapos actions get yung url natin is ito um, punta muna tayo sa main sa tingin ko gagawa na lang tayo ng actions that defaults that base url is equal to ito ito yung base url natin para yung ilalagay na lang natin is yung prefix ng url natin it will be api slash 
slash books that then with es6 style of coding tapos let's type to output using console lab and then we need to catch the error kung meron man we can use the es6 here ganito sige ito na lang gamitin natin pwede na lang direct console lab na lang so for this ito let's refresh oops magigay music o oh, pang palipas oras kakarelax kasi ayan meron na tayong ginawang basic table so for this wala tayong output in console lab kasi we don't run our anong tawag dito our function inside methods so to run this ito this get box let's say and wait for a while ayan api box merong error check po natin preview plot collection ayun so may problema ito yatang eh, sa box natin ayun meron na tayong display so we can refresh this one or pwede rin right click hard refresh ayun meron na tayong display kasi di po pupunta natin yung server book ng yung url natin so for this we can, we can also do data or to make it simple gagawa tayo ng books yung equivalent of empty object so this books is equal to response that data so we can still um, output naman dito ayan ayan meron tayong 20 list kasi 2 beses dalawang beses ko itong ginawa so ang mangyayari nito is um, gagawa ako ng table which is itong table row pangalawa will be table data so ito na dito na lalabas yung v4 since we catch we catch everything yung response natin into books and then as an empty object kukunin natin siya let's copy this one and let's loop it book in books so hindi pa to kasi itong kung titignan nyo meron siyang error like um, view bind k we need a, a k so para gawin to is ganito yung approach ko um, book tapos and the k of the each each element and then let's import k uh, hindi pala to at kundi colon ayan, you solve the problem wala na yung alam nyo na so for this we can display the id ingay ng aso ko pero okay lang yan then book title kasi when we going to check that one click mo yan, meron tayong title and author created updated at and id let's save that one and wait for the output ito na yung output so in action meron tayong edit at delete so sa huling part na lang yung pag click create natin ng data since i used factory so gagawin na lang natin yun sa huli so when creating a delete gagawa ko ng button hindi po um take note hindi po ako master hindi po ako gaya ng iba na napakagaling pero i was trying my best para naman makapag share to, ng uh, ng kunting kaalaman ko and note naghahanap po ako ng long term job home base kasi nasa probinsya ako dito sa Dumaguete remove book kukunin ko yung id pati yung k k is yung parang sabihin na natin position number of each element like the array k like 0, 1, 2, 3 and then the id is the id of the specific element like in an 
apply ko na yung array 0 with an element of Morley which is my name tapos yung ID niya is yung ID ayun so ang mangyayari nito is axios that delete slash api slash book slash plus yung id then let's get the response with asx coding style let's console log the response alright then semicolon then let's catch some error kasi sibling di yan makaka error output the error and then that one so for this I want to refresh parang kulelat yung button natin lagyan natin ng konting design class btn btn digger btn sm then remove Yan. So when we click this, gusto natin mawala siya dito. So let's proceed. So in remove method natin, we need to initiate when there's a click event. I want to pass the book ID and the K. See? Ayan. So for that, when the book spin click and then it calls the method remove I want to check I want to check if are you sure you want to remove the book if yes ito yung output nya if no naman wala lang mangyayari so, ito, are you sure you want to remove the book? Pag okay. Ayan, we receive a status, so blah blah blah. But instead of, instead na madi-delete siya, hindi na siya nandi-delete. Kasi nga, kasi nga, anong tawag dito? Wala pa tayong code yata sa back end. Uh, ayan, wala pa. So, lalagyan natin yan mamaya. But for this, we need to implement a temporary remove. So, if my response status will be 200, which is the equivalent status of remove successfully, I want to call the list of books and splice or delete it using the K and only one element. So, oops, nasira na naman yung monitor ko. Ayan. So, let's remove this one, number 3. And then, nawala na siya. Number 4, 2, and nawala na siya. So, mamaya mag-i-implement tayo ng ng codes for the back end to remove it successfully kasi when we try to refresh nandyan pa rin yan ulit kasi we are just deleting the the data inside the array which is the real time array and then we are splicing it using the data which is yung ano yung, kung ano yung nakikita natin for the meantime we are not integrating with our back end API so example will be like this since nawala na yung sira return sira ng monitor natin this one ayan makikita natin sa data yung ina output lang niya yung kung ano yung sineselect na, na, sinelect natin which is yung 2 to output the ID so this is an ID of 3 let's see I 
ito yung data natin 3 okay to make it nice I simply want to import the book and then return book delete data fresh refresh again I want to remove this book number 3 let's say ano yung ok and then response ok so what will happen is I want to check if it's really deleted ayun nawala na yung ano so ang mangyayari is author response response please son that was Okay. Let's refresh. Kasi kanina kaya nag-error 'yun kasi he cannot out he cannot convert the the boolean into string. Kasi pag delete mo boolean true. Ano 'yun? Itong for, let's delete this one. I'm expect same status of success. Ayun, deleted na siya. So when we try to refresh, wala na talaga siya. Let's delete this book with the ID of 1. Ayun. Wala na rin. So I'm going to upload this one in my GitHub. May mga private repo ako. Dito. Upload ko to mamaya. Meron na rin mga repo like this Laravel Vue.js with authentication and CRUD function is using Laravel Mix which is yung front end and back end natin is nasa isang folder lang but itong ginawa ko ngayon is kakaiba yung structure nya pero yung coding medyo similar naman so salamat at sana nagandahan kayo at nakatulong sa inyo